Welcome to this episode of the Sports Detective Show. My name is James Williams, and today we are talking about Pete Carroll and the Seattle Seahawks because this news broke yesterday. Pete Carroll will no longer be the head coach of the Seattle Seahawks, but there is a lot of speculation that this might not have been Pete Carroll's decision. So we'll go ahead and read. Um, I'll show you a few kind of articles, clips here, tweets, and we will uh, discuss all of this stuff. So here is the official announcement from the Seattle Seahawks on um, yesterday. I'm recording this Wednesday. Um, after thoughtful meetings and careful consideration for the best interest of the franchise, we have amicably, amicably agreed with Pete Carroll that his role will evolve from head coach to remain uh, with the organization as an advisor. Pete is the winningest coach in Seahawks history, brought the city its first Super Bowl title, and created a tremendous impact over the past 14 years. On the field and in the community, his expertise and leadership and building a championship culture will continue as an integral part of the organization moving forward. He will always be beloved, will always be a beloved member of the Seahawks. Thank you for bearing with me with that. I am not a good out loud reader. Um, so you kind of read that statement there and you're like, oh, okay, Pete Carroll, 72 years old. He's, um, you know, th the team hasn't necessarily been a title contender the last few years. Um, Maybe it's kind of time for him to, you know, hang it up and maybe he's decided like, hey, man, I'm 72. You know, I, I can go be a little bit of advisor role. It's not much of a day to day thing. Maybe it's more of a big picture thing. Still, obviously, a football in your life, but, you know, maybe you can enjoy golfing, spending time with your family. Well, I'll show you, go ahead and show you guys this. Um, We're not going to read the whole article, but this is a paragraph from The Athletic, and it's a quote from Pete Carroll Monday after the, uh, you know, Basically, Monday was the day that all the teams didn't make the playoffs were having their season-ending press conferences. And this is a quote from Pete Carroll Monday. Um, following Seattle's 21-20 win against the Arizona Cardinals Sunday, Carroll told reporters he expected to return to the Seahawks. The 72-year-old coach told the Seattle Sports on Monday, I plan to be coaching this team. I love these guys, and that's what I would like to be doing and see how far we can go. I'm not worn out. I'm not tired. I'm not any of that stuff. He said on Wednesday, those statements were true to the bone. So that doesn't sound like somebody that wants to be done coaching. That doesn't sound like somebody that wants to step aside and take some sort of advisory role, which I think is very, very interesting. Now, if you're talking about the merit on whether Pete Carroll uh, should have been let go if it was time to let him go. I can't necessarily disagree with that. They did have a winning season this year. It did seem like every time they played a good team, they just like would lose. Um, the defense is horrendous. Uh, you know, you could also say they really couldn't get the quarterback position right. They did have a lot of tools offensively, but you know, to say that like he, th this was a travesty that he did get, let go basically or basically um um you could say demoted you could say um you know shuffled around in the organization um i don't think it's like that crazy if you look at the numbers and stuff they did have a winning record um i think they it was either that they made the playoffs 10 out of 14 years or they had a winning record 10 out of 14 years and it is always hard to like you know replace a legend but i'm also going to go ahead and show you this um clip here that uh, Adam Schefter posted. This is from Pete Carroll's press conference yesterday um, in Seattle, you know, kind of addressing him leaving and maybe his future in the organization and if he's ever going to coach again. Uh, that's it for now. And uh, I'm freaking jacked. I'm fired up. I'm not tired. I'm not worn down. Uh, you, you guys tried your best. You didn't wear me out. I'm, you know, it's the end of the season. I'm supposed to be, you know, go lay on a cot somewhere. I ain't feeling like that. And, uh, um, you know, there's what's coming. I don't know. I got no idea. And I really don't care right now. But uh, I do. Um, I'm excited about it because there's a lot to learn. There's a lot to study. Uh, there's a, there's some great discoveries that are going to come our way. And as my, my all time mentor, Bud Grant said, not in so many words. Uh, there's there's rivers to wade, uh, there's waves to catch, and there's mountains to hike. And uh, it wasn't exactly how Bud said it, but uh, I get it. And uh, that's some cool stuff that we're going to do here. Um, and uh, I look forward to all that. So um, with that. Hmm. Very interesting there. So this is kind of an interesting kind of thought here is 
how loyal, how much does Pete, there's two things that you had to have to consider here with Pete Carroll's future. One, how much does he want to coach again and how loyal is he to Seattle? Because Pete, obviously, the, Seattle's the place where he was the longest in his entire coaching career. Um, he, he did have some time at USC. He did um, previously, you know, before Belichick was at the Patriots, Pete Carroll was at the Patriots and actually took the Patriots to a Super Bowl. Um, how much does his loyalty run to Seattle and the Northwest? I think that's one thing you have to consider because if he's extremely loyal to Seattle and the organization, then yeah, he might just like step aside and be an advisor for, you know, a few years or until he's, you know, ready to just officially be like done working entirely. But if he doesn't have, not that he's not um, disloyal to Seattle, but if he's not like, you know, necessarily, you know, wants to spend the rest of his life in Seattle, maybe there's a chance that Pete takes another job. And there's a few NFL coaching jobs that I do think may might have some interest in Pete Carroll. Um, I'll, I, there's three that basically I think are probably the most likely. One would be the um, the Chargers. So the Chargers would be an interesting option because Pete uh, was the last basically super successful coach at USC. So he has a lot of Los Angeles ties, um, a lot of USC fans. He could, there's definitely more usc fans in uh southern california than there is chargers fans and maybe that will be able to spark a little bit of interest and actually bring you know local people that actually care about the chargers or maybe even not even the chargers but pete carroll to chargers games so that's another option and two maybe pete carroll can get the best out of justin herbert um you know maybe he can kind of just really kind of ignite a, a spark with that team that would kind of be your argument with him there um, two other jobs that I think would be semi-interesting. One would be Washington, because Washington's going to draft a quarterback, and Washington has no culture. They just hired a, uh, or they just got a new um, owner. So maybe the owner is like, hey, we'll bring Pete Carroll in. He'll come in and change our culture, and we'll kind of go from there. And also Washington does have a little bit of experience with that. Um, they're, it seems like they're more linked, and you know they want Belichick a little bit more. But I do think Carroll would be an interesting option there. And the other option would be uh, Carolina, because Carolina is probably the least desirable head coaching job available right now. I know they have Bryce Young, but the Tepper thing and the fact that they don't have their pick this year and the fact that they're the worst roster in the league right now, I do think that might be the least desirable job. But if David Tepper has a brain, if David Tepper is willing to evolve maybe how he is running the team to a degree, maybe they just say, hey, we'll bring Pete Carroll in here. It's obviously not a long-term solution, but maybe he's here four or five years, salvages the career of Bryce Young, reestablishes and creates a new, fun, energetic culture in Carolina. And, you know, and maybe they just kind of change their fortunes to a degree. So those are basically the three options that I have there for Carroll. Um, let me know in the comments if you think there's a different job for him that he could potentially take. Um, is he going to stay in Seattle? Maybe Seattle fans, if you are interested in that kind of discussion, um, you know, you, you can kind of give me uh, your, your thoughts on that. Or if Pete really wants to coach again and if an NFL team would want him. So let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. My name is James Williams. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Maybe explore our channel a little bit more to kind of catch more sports clips. I'll talk NFL, NBA, college football, college basketball. And, you know, we've been doing this for four years now. We're just starting to put clips on YouTube. So if you hit that subscribe button, it'll really help support the show. So thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.